This video is sponsored by PageProof. All right, now we come to the portion of the program that I call random insanity. <laughs> ah! um, so InDesign's crashing, hanging, stalling, glitching, freaking out, uh, causing you to freak out. So let's see what we can do about that. Uh, two different approaches. So first of all, you have to decide in your mind, is it InDesign itself that is freaking out or is it a specific document? That's a problem. If you're experiencing the same problem over multiple documents, you wanna troubleshoot the application itself. Um, the first simplest step is to just quit it and restart it. Sometimes there's a hung process, there's something going on in the background that's stalling it and, and getting stuck. So just quit the application, restart it, and you may see the problem just go away. Kick it up a notch, restart your entire computer. Again, there may be some glitchy process going on in the background that's distracting InDesign or using up system resources and, and not allowing InDesign to do its thing. Uh, you can update, make sure that you're running the latest version of InDesign, the latest version of your operating system, plugins, extensions. Um, there's reasons why developers make bug fixes and release them because bugs need to be fixed. So make sure you're running the updates. If you have recently installed third-party stuff, plugins and extensions, and now you're seeing a problem, try disabling them. Okay, maybe they're conflicting with something else. You can also try turning off your network connection. Maybe Dropbox is trying to sync 4,000 files in the background at the same time that InDesign's trying to do something really laborious. So disconnect from the Wi-Fi, disconnect from your network, and see if the problem goes away. If the problem is in your user account, you have some specific font or extension or startup item, um, that might be causing the problem. You can just open it in a different fresh account on your computer. Both Mac and Windows allow you to create new multiple user accounts. Um, try using a fresh account and see if the problem still keeps happening there. Then you know the problem's in your user account. Uh, or you can try it on a completely different computer. So if the problem's at the system level and affects all user accounts, um, you'll know by trying it on a different computer entirely. At this point, now we're talking about removing stuff and reinstalling stuff. Uh, so you can rebuild your InDesign preferences. I'm not a huge fan of this. I think it's kind of overhyped as a solution, but it does work in, in some cases. Um, if you're gonna rebuild your preferences, a, a nifty trick is to save the InDesign defaults file. So there's a little text file in those locations on Mac and Windows, basically in the, the version folder. Actually, I think I can just show you. Show me, don't tell me, Mike. Um, so inside your user, Here's the user, library, preferences, InDesign, here on the Mac. Uh, there are these version folders. So this is 2022, this is 2023, and inside that, there's this guy, the InDesign defaults file. So that's what keeps track of all the changes that you make in the preferences dialog box. You press Command or Control K and you monkey around and do all this stuff. This is what keeps track of that. So you can save, that, save a copy of that file out before you trash your preferences. That way, when you restore your preferences and the problem keeps happening, you can just put that back where it was and you don't have to go one by one and reset everything in the dialog box, okay? So resetting preferences. Okay, now we're getting serious. Now we're at the point of just like completely uninstall and reinstall the application fresh. Just nuke the site from orbit and start all over again. And then you give up. <laughs> Thanks for coming. No, just kidding. Just kidding, you never give up, ever, ever, ever. Um, one thing you can do at this point, or even well before in, in your, um, your process, is to raise your hand and ask for help. Um, head over to the InDesign Secrets Facebook group where at last count there was like 27,000 Indes InDesign pros that are, um, it's a very well managed, very friendly, very helpful group. I'm amazed at the knowledge there and there's so many people, chances are somebody has seen the same problem that you're seeing and can help, okay? Now, what if it's just a single document? InDesign itself works fine with all my other files, but this file is just like, ugh. Okay. First thing is get a witness. Call somebody over to your cubicle, have somebody watch you work over your shoulder and try to repeat the problem. I cannot tell you how many times over my career problems have gone away when somebody else, I swear it was doing that. Yeah, I know, yeah, okay, thanks. 
Um, but seriously, get away. It, it could just be you're, you're more careful, you're more deliberate, another set of eyes notices something you don't notice. I think it's that the gremlins that cause all our problems are intimidated by humans in groups. <laughs> They'll attack us when we're isolated, but when we come at them in numbers, they run and hide. So get a witness. Next up is you can do save as. Save as like leaves behind all the, all the cruft that gets um, accumulated as you work with an InDesign file over days, weeks, months, and years. So save as creates a fresh copy. Um, if you can't even get the file open, if InDesign crashes every time you open, try to open the file, try opening it as a copy instead. In the file open dialog box, there's a little checkbox you can say to say open as a copy instead of open normal. Um, and see if creating a fresh copy on the fly before it even appears on the screen will prevent InDesign from crashing. You can also try exporting to IDML. IDML is InDesign markup language, which is basically a text um, set of instructions for creating an InDesign file from scratch. So when you export IDML, the idea is that the corrupt stuff gets left behind and the actual instructions for creating the document will be clean and, and fresh and good. Um, you can do this manually, file export, or again, if the file crashes in design every time you try to open it, uh, you can create IDML blind. Uh, there's a script in the handout that will do that. Okay, so it'll open up, it'll attempt to open up the file in the background and export an IDML without ever displaying it on the screen. Then we come to the divide and conquer approach. So if you have a, a long document, 100 pages or something, you can create a, save a copy of it, delete 50 pages, see if the problem occurs in the 50 pages you save, um, then continue on, divide that in half, so on and so forth until you get to the problem page, hopefully. Um, isolate the problem. Change the fonts. Okay, if you have a ton of, of goofy, funky fonts that you got on dafont.com or 1001fontsforfree.com, uh, do a fine change. Change them all to Myriad Pro and see if the problem goes away. Sometimes fonts can do bad things. If you're still having problems with this, you know, InDesign shutting down every time you try to open the document, you might want to try uh, using a recovery service. So Adobe offers a free service. You can email them your InDesign file, and the InDesign team will try to troubleshoot it and figure out what the heck has gone wrong with it. Um, it is free. There's no guarantee that they can fix it, and there's no promised timeline either. Um, but they will do that for you. Uh, a professional commercial solution is Marksware. Um, so you can send them your corrupt file. Uh, they will charge you a small intake fee of 50 bucks. They'll analyze it, and if they decide that they can salvage the file, um, you can get it back by, for an additional fee based on the size of the file. Okay, so it's a couple hundred bucks, but if it's like a 100-page InDesign file that's gonna take you days or weeks to recreate, it might be worth it. Uh, and then, if nothing else works, you just have to rebuild the document. If you can get it up on screen, um, you can export out assets, you can export out the plain text. Don't copy and paste, because if you copy and paste elements, you might just be taking the problem and moving it into a fresh file. And then the, the ultimate troubleshooting tip um, is, is a pitch for Creative Pro membership here. Explore Creative Pro membership. If you become a member, you get a subscription to Creative Pro magazine, plus um, access to our entire archive of all the back issues. So there's 150 issues of InDesign Magazine, 20-something issues of Creative Pro Magazine. It's a vast, vast repository of InDesign knowledge, and there's a lot of answers to a lot of problems in that content. Thanks. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.